I still see this fake Photoshop being used as evidence against climate change, even though it was debunked in 2013, a full 10 years ago. Yet people still believe it. This is how the truth loses. This is why freedom of speech does not guarantee that the facts and the best ideas will always win in the free and open marketplace of ideas, as is commonly believed. Since social media has surpassed the mainstream media with negative and divisive content, the mainstream media came full circle and now does reports based on social media. This is how fake outrage spreads. For example, a very small Twitter account posted a tweet that got 55 likes calling the song Natural Woman harmful to trans people. Sky News actually did a report on that single tweet saying that the woke deemed the song offensive and thus they claimed that the trans rights movement is misogynistic. A much larger Twitter account picked up on the news report, did not link to the report, but instead just posted a screenshot of the misleading headline and said that the trans community deemed the song offensive. That tweet got 17,000 likes and 1.3 million views in less than 12 hours. If the media can base entire news stories on single anonymous tweets with low engagement and then use that single tweet to smear an entire demographic, then literally anyone can create any outrage story they want with any outrage headline they want using fake accounts. But Social media has also taken plenty of cues from the mainstream media. Besides, if it bleeds, it leads. 